out from the race. How was it? I mean, what was your strategy coming into this thing? Uh, get ahead and stay ahead. Um, once I get first, try and stay in first from the start, and then on the second half of it, try and start working more and more into the finish. So, I mean, did you get thirsty? I mean, it's 4,000 meters. I know it's uh, in practice. You normally get in a sip if you're doing like, you know, eight five hundreds or whatever. You're going to get a sip every now and then. So, were you thirsty or what'd you do? Yeah, the salt uh, dried out my mouth. I was thirsty the whole time. I didn't get too much to drink before, which wasn't a good idea, but happy now that I have a drink now. Really what, thirsty. What, what club team do you swim with? Gulf Coast Swim Team. Gulf Coast. So, you got about a bunch of distance swimmers on your team, yeah. huh? Yeah. Well... Um, so what type of workouts do you do to get ready for, for something like this? Uh, we do open waters on weekends, on Saturdays, mornings, instead of going to the pool. And we practice here, in this spot right here. And uh, then we get used to the water, and then we're prepared to swim in this water. So how far do you go when you go, like, a Saturday morning workout? How far do you go here? Usually a mile to two miles, anywhere between there. and get a good uh, feel of the water. And then you're, then you're done, or you, do you run back and forth, or what do you do? You're uh, just done with two miles? You, you consider that an easy practice yeah. when you're just doing two miles. Yeah, we, uh, we practice our starts and finishes running in and out of the water, and then we just swim, and then we just leave. That's it. So you guys have a little advantage. That's kind of nice then. Yeah. Well, congratulations. Uh, what's your next race? Uh, no idea. <laughs> what are you doing a club meet? Um, well, I think we have a January meet for uh, prelims and finals, so... Hopefully I'll be doing good there. I'm swimming long course, I mean, mile, I think, so. Okay, well, thanks, Blake. Right, Congratulations. Thank you. thank you. All right, next. What's your name? My name's Kent Hefner, officially William. William? Kent, how you so doing? I go by Kent, though. I go by what, what, Kent, what, uh, what team do you swim for? I swim for Pinecrest. Pinecrest. Ah, very good, very good. So what place did you end up getting today? Second. Second place in 13 14s? Very good job. So, how was it? What was your strategy coming into this thing? Well, I was thinking, you know, maybe if I was going out really fast, you know, I could just go ahead of everyone. But, of course, you had the other guy there, and I decided, you know, to draft some people and, you know, use that and, you know, get past them at the end. Yeah, you know, it's tough. It's tough as we have a nice helicopter going by. Oh, well, what can you do? Um, drafting in something like this is a lot easier than being the, the guy pulling everybody. So, uh, you just tucked in, right? Yeah, I mean, there's this uh, girl that, you know, passed me, and I said, you know, I'm going to keep with her. And she went just blazing fast, you know, the beginning of that second half. And we ended up being way ahead of everyone. So who's who's your coach over there at Pinecrest? Um, Jay um, and uh, Mariusz Parkoshilny. Jay Fitzgerald. Jay Fitzgerald. Wow, I, he was he was coaching when, when I was swimming. I remember him. Oh, my gosh. So, well, good. So what kind of training do you do during the week? Um... We just, you know, we do distance, we do kicking, IM, dry land, you know. We do a lot of stuff, but no open water, ironically. Yeah, and, and Pinecrest is right near the beach. Oh, uh, well, I mean, we really don't do that. I mean, Jay's an old school guy. He's really, you know, he's, you know, David Marsh told him, Jay, it ain't the 1980s anymore. Yeah, that's true. Well, some, some things never die. So, anyway, thank you very much, Kent. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good rest of your weekend. Hey, you Jason Tillotson, my man Jason Tillotson. He was, uh, he was one of my swimmers for the All-Star Meet when? Last year? Yeah, when I was 12. Yeah. When he was 12. Now he's thir you're 13? Yeah, 13. And you, and you got second place. So very good job. Thanks. Um, who do you swim for during the uh, year? Uh, Coach Ed Collins for Swim Florida Cape Coral. Awesome. I, I, I love those guys there. And Mac, Mac's still there, right? Uh, Mac does the Fort Myers branch. Uh, gotcha. I swim for Cape Coral Bridge. So. Gotcha. Well, I've been following you the last couple of years. You've been doing great. Uh, how was that? How was your strategy there? Is that what you thought it would be? Um, well, I was, my goal for it was to keep up with Blake. Uh, he wound up winning the whole thing. And um, for the first uh, 100, 200 meters going out there, I try to lay off my legs a little bit. And then uh, when you go to the straightaways through here, just to try and make a four to six beat kick, something like that. And then uh, try to find someone to stick with and draft with some of the way. And then on the home stretch on the last lap through, you just got to put everything you have into it, six beat kick all the way through and hope for the best. So did you switch? Did you did you guys switch and share the drafting duties, or did you just leech the whole time like I would have done? Well, uh, my teammate uh, Stephen Fedick, um, he was with us, uh, with me and Mark Marshburn who were swimming, and I kind of uh, let Stephen have Mark's draft for a little bit, and then I'd move up next to Mark, and then he draft off of me, and then I just blew past him on the last lap. Cool. So what are you training for now? You got uh, uh, Jo's coming up here in a couple of weeks, two or three weeks. We'll be there. Yeah. Filming live, um, so you're getting ready for that. 
Yeah, um, we're training real hard right now. Um, we have the GCST meet coming up. It's a prelim finals meet. I love meets like that because it gets you ready for a prelim final meet like JO's. And um, I'm also trying to make that zone team again. Uh, you have to be in the top eight for high point. And uh, so I'm putting all my chips on that table, hoping to get there. Oh, you'll get there. You're a stud. Big stud. Anyway, thank you very much, Jason. Have a good day. All right, who do we have here? Hannah Burns. Hannah Burns, what place did you end up getting today? I got first in the girls, 13-14. You, and you almost beat the boys. What did you do? Were you drafting off the guys the whole time? Towards the end I was. There was one kid in front of me. I started to draft off to him after a while. but. Well, you sound like the smartest person here drafting off everybody. Very good job. So did you stop for a drink along the way? No, sir. I just no. kept going. I wow. figured if I stopped, I might not be able to get started again. Well, I, I agree. 4,000 is a long way going all out. So... Did you, so you drafted the entire way, is that right? Just the end. At uh, the beginning, I was sort of in the middle by myself. So, so who's your coach during the year? Ga uh, Chris Oliver. Chris Oliver, what team is that? Gator Swim Club. Gator Swim Club. The Gators, up there in Gainesville. Yes, sir. So what type of workouts do you do during the week? Um, we have a mix. I am, and we do a lot of distance free, middle distance free. So do you guys ever train with the college guys, or is that allowed? Um, sometimes, if there's certain th something, schedule conflicts, they'll s a couple will swim with us. But other than that. That's good. That's good. Well, congratulations, and thanks for coming out. And we'll see you at where? J.O.'s? Yes, sir. Thank you. All right. Hello. How are you? Good. What is your name? Savannah Bowser. Savannah Bowser. Now, I know about you, Savannah Bowser. You're a quick one, aren't you? Mm-hmm. What place did you get? Second in females. Second, and you just turned 13, I think, right? Yes. April. April, wow. April birthday, just turned 13, and what a stud. So you're getting ready for JOs right now, aren't you? Yes. Yeah, what type of workouts do you do? I do a lot of distance, like 400 IMs, 500s, all those frees. Gotcha. What, now, what team do you train for? Gulf Coast swim team. Do you train with the big kids or distance kids or senior program, or are you still with the age groupers? I'm still with the age groupers, but I'm at the top of the lane, and I get, like, different intervals and push harder. Gotcha. Well, that's very good. So um, what type of workouts? What do you do during a day? I mean, do you do 5,000? Do you do 2,000? Do you do longer sets? Because I know that you like the freestyle events, uh -huh. but you're pretty good in everything. Yeah, I do, like, 6,000 each, like, morning and everything and like all the thousands because we do pool and then the major set so we do combine of like six thousand yards so what do you do to get ready for something like this um eating i mean do you do you eat like a banana do you have a bagel do you have a full course meal what do you do to get ready for a, a four thousand meter swim i eat something light like a banana or apple or and then drink gatorade and a power bar gotcha well congratulations thank you very good job thank you all right